Mission every day uh, leading up to the Super Bowl. My question for today is if you could change one play in Super Bowl history, what would it be? And I can't wait to hear these answers. Let's start with. I just went with the low-hanging fruit because I knew none of you guys were going to go for it, and I would have to be the one to bring the obvious play to the table. Super Bowl 49, what if they gave the ball to Marshawn Lynch? Ah. That's it. That's the big question. It was Monday morning quarterback for years. People still talk about it. So there at the goal line, the interception by Malcolm. You just got to figure if he gives him the ball, it changes history and also kind of changes maybe how we look at Brady. He's gotten to all of these Super Bowls. He'd have one more loss than win in that column. People already love talking about it. He's not the greatest of all time if he's been there and mm -hmm. lost it so many times. So I feel like, yeah. This was That's also, it. this was the Super Bowl that ended the, they haven't won a Super Bowl since it had been a late time game. thing. You're right. You know, right. so that, 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 that was an important one for them. What do you got, Bart? Oddly enough, that was, the, that was the right play. But for me, if I want to get my Marty McFly on and go yeah. back in time, go back to the future, to change the future, you got to go back to the beginning. Now, let's go all the way back to Super Bowl 36. And let's just say when they were going against the greatest show on turf, mm -hmm. if you want to stop the dynasty from ever happening, Adam Vinatieri lined up for the 48-yard field goal. This is all that started it right here. They came out as a team. I knew they were going down. They slowed down that offense, much like they're going to try and do this week in Adam Vinatieri. What if he missed the field goal and then they are the losers? And now Kurt Warner's the hero. He never Ooh. goes to the Giants. No Eli so Manning. The, and it just holds the, a whole trickle-down effect. The Rams get the ball in overtime. They go right down to kick a field goal because that would have won the game back then. Absolutely. There were no double possession rules back then. That's what you're saying. Okay. All right. Well, we're taking two Super Bowls away from the Patriots. I'm going to give them one, though. I'm going to take away the helmet catch. And let me explain to you why. The ah. David Tyree helmet catch. I know this is not going to endear myself to anybody here in New York, but if that had not happened, let me tell you why. This is not a pro-Pat thing or an anti-Giants thing. I can't stand what the 72 Dolphins stand for. I absolutely detest that stupid champagne toast that they do every year. I think it goes against everything you're supposed to do about encouraging those who mm. come after you. This would have meant a perfect season for the Patriots. I wanted to see it just to get the 72 Dolphins streak broken. Now, I shared this with Sean O'Hara, who won a ring here, and he said that I'm dead to him, and he even included a skull emoji. <laughs> this play would have given still Eli fourth and five if Rodney Harris did manage to break it up. So maybe they squeaked this one out, but... There's a variety of plays. Plex beating Ellis, Hobbs. Uh, I still think Randy could have caught that bomb at the end of the game, but if you take this was the symbolism of the Patriots' perfect season dying atop a receiver who dropped everything in practice that week yes. and never played another snap for the Giants after this. That's the one I would take away. I'm sorry, Giants fans, but it's more anti-72 Dolphins, and I'll drink to that. Ooh. All right, I asked the question, and I'll answer it. What do you got? What's up here? Let's take us back to 1991. Uh, the Giants. See, we're picking on the Giants today. And I, I listen. I got a lot of Giants. Like someone has to do this. I got this a lot of Giants work. followers because okay. you know the, I covered the Giants for a number of years. I live in this market right here. But it's nothing against the Giants. But I remember, you know, Cody Parkey. These days, you go on the Today Show. But I remember Scott Norwood yeah. way back. I was a big Sports Illustrated for kids reader. Me too. And I remember that they had this illustrated thing every week. And one week it was Scott Norwood. And I just remember feeling so bad for Norwood after this one because what a, what a hope by Frank Reich, by the way. Uh, I just remember feeling <laughs> so bad for Norway because I read that thing and he said, oh, I came home and the fans supported me and I was so down and I was lifted and I said, you know what? This is my first real uh, experience of empathy as a sports fan. Uh -huh. and I'll just never forget this because he could have hit this kick and everybody said, oh, the Bills will be back and sure, they were back, but they were never this close. Poor Scott Norwood, wherever you may be today. I feel you, brother. I do, oh, too. Bill Belichick's part of a lot of those game plans on slowing down high-powered offense. You're right. It makes me nervous. Mm. We love your tweets, guys, on the show today. We love Mike Garofolo and Bart Scott for being here with us to wrap up the mm. week. We'll be in Atlanta next week. Mark wrap up what week? Wednesday, You're working tomorrow. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, and no Monday. I hope you enjoyed some of your little birthday gifts today. Okay, what are you about to do? Um, nothing. What are you I'm just, doing, Listen, Kay? I know you like to keep it simple. Nothing crazy and big. We just got you something that we knew you would appreciate what here on the show. What? We got you a 40. Oh, yeah! Since the king! A 40, Official sponsor. <laughs> thing yeah. And a shower cap. So you can take it into This the is amazing. Yeah, let's put it on. Oh, yeah. I'm a big shower beer guy. This thing is Happy beachwood birthday. age. Crack that beer.
baby. Oh, oh baby, God. yeah. Oh. Shake it. Look though. at this thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, don't. Do that. I need a brown oh. paper bag to do it properly. Is that, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna wait to, to wet my whistle in about 30 seconds. But this is incredible. Look at that from the king. And Kay, this thing is ice cold. It's just unbelievable. For you. Is it a good I can. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> I haven't had a butt heavy in a while. I'm gonna treat myself right after the show. You go, Mike. There you go. Let me just pass it oh, around toaster. there. It's so delicious. Yeah. Wash yeah. down those. Little lemon tea and butt. It's gonna Happy taste delicious. Thursday. Thank drink you. It till, Thank you. Don't oh. be a menace by watching it, you're drinking your juice in the hood. Oh my gosh, that's right. I will I'll drink to that. And to Spuds McKenzie, my guy. Yes. And to all the women at Costco selling samples. We love you. <laughs> Happy back birthday, on Monday. bro. Have a good, good weekend. Cheers. <laughs> so and. Good.